Right, how we doing people? I'm on YouTube, here we are, I am back. Uh, my nose has got a bit of black eye, got kicked in the face by a tight trainer. It was great fun. Um, so today we're gonna, I thought I'd do a little bit of a difference today. I thought I'd do a little bit of a talk, a little bit of a chat before we go fishing. Yeah, boy. Um, just because basically I didn't do a very good intro and I just want to talk a little bit about fishing and I was with you guys for ages. So I thought I'd have a little chit chat, I've been on TikTok loads and stuff like that. Um, scrap man behind me. Hey, you bud? You're tired. You've been at work all day with daddy, I mean, eh? Daddy working. So um yeah, I'm gonna show you a little clip of what I've been doing and uh I've been messing around well I had a Thai trainer come to my gym, he had 161 fights. Um so I'll show you just some little bit of power work and a bit of fun we had. So I just want to show you that why I got a black eye, you know, I'm called the fighting fisherman and all. <laughs> and it's crap man, the fighting fisherman. Um, so yeah, he came to a seminar at my gym. I sparred him um, for like 20 minutes and stuff. He obviously beat me up. Um, but yeah, it was brilliant, honestly, really good fun. Um, but here is the fishing. So this is proper fishing, guys, okay? It's not commercial. I went out and I struggled. I went out for 12 hours on ditches, little, little ditches, fishing for anything. And I mean, I had a handful of fish, but... It was good, my boy. We enjoyed it, don't we? Okay? Well, he didn't come with me. He did, G. He didn't come with me, Scraps. He didn't come with me. But, um, yeah, I did really enjoy it. It was it was hard, though, but it's proper fishing. I'm not going to commercial. Like, when people just catch, someone catches a tench, at this time of year, out of a commercial, it's not very really impressive, is it? Or you catch anything out of a commercial, it's not that impressive, really, in my opinion. Proper commercial, I'm all about, you know. I know it's different when you first start fishing, but when you fish a lot... It's not. Like, you go to commercial and catch on a winter's day, it doesn't make you a great angler, okay? Going on a winter's day to a hard, wild little water is hard in winter, okay, to catch any fish, okay? And I struggled. I went everywhere. It rained on me three or four times. I will get on with fishing in a minute. But it rained on me three or four times. I lure fish, like, non-stop. I had nothing. Um, so I ended up float fishing, and uh, I ended up having some fish in the end. So here's the clip. Next round, okay? Right, my wonderful people. I am out on the ditch. I've actually got no gear with me at the moment. Um, so I've gone out, put some bait out. I've got my missus to drop me off. I half past six in the rain. I walked the dog. I put bait in. I planted some stuff. I planted some things. Planted some seeds. And we're going to catch some carpies. No, we're not. We're going to catch some bream or some tench or nothing. We're going on the ditches and we're trying to catch anything. It's been raining loads, so I know the levels will be up. I didn't want to go on the river. So I thought, oh, I'll try the, the ditch. Try and get a winter tench, a winter bream. So here's the oh, scrap man. Famous, almighty, we unite him, the scrap man. The almighty scrap. Well, I'm dropping him back because, as you can see, it's terrible. So I'm dropping him back and we'll get straight back fishing. But I just thought I wanted to quickly show you the scrap man because we do love him. A little scrap man. But yeah, it's too wet for him today, guys. So yeah, I've just been going around, putting bait in and that. I'm gonna go home, set up my gear and come check back out. Bing bang boss. Right, how are you going guys? I'm at a ditch. I'm just gonna have a quick lure before I get fishing because you know what it's like with these pike here. I put bait out earlier, so I could, in theory, put pike in the Got a lure on. There we go, look at him. Little wiry jack pike. Yeah. So here we 
Right, here we go. Pike on maggots. And how? Basically, I was getting a little tiny bite on the float constantly. I was like, what is that that's going on? Pulled a minute, so I picked it up. There we go. Jack Pike here, wait. <laughs> Number two. Right, I've got to figure out under and this now. Right, need my wash. Right, guys, we're at a new spot. But imagine that on the floor and it goes to a dog's foot. And I'll probably get the blame for that. Bloody morons. Clean up your rubbish. Stop leaving crap around when I go fishing. Every time I go to these spots, my spots, I'm always finding rubbish. Look, and they can't even tie a knot. Look, can't even tie a knot. Honestly, that wouldn't even tie properly. Absolute moron. Learn how to tie a bloody knot, mate. Jesus Christ. And obviously, I know people follow me around, but if this is you, you're an idiot. This was on the floor. Like, the hooks are blunt, thank God. But if a dog would have ran into that, it would have got all tangled up. It was just on the floor. I walked past, was just like, what an idiot. So if you're fishing here, mate, and you watch my videos and this is yours, you're an embarrassment to angling. Honestly, like this kind of stuff really grates me. Look at the state of it. Ah, Jesus Christ. Right, on a happier note. <laughs> it's, uh, that stuff, that is just, that's just horrendous. I'm just gonna chuck it in the bin. Absolutely horrendous, man. So yeah, fishing now, back to the little pond. I did four hours on the ditch and I had two little jack pike. Uh, one on a maggot and one on a bloody lure rod. So that was weird. Anyway, right, so I get set up and uh, got a little feeder rod and a little float rod and hopefully we can catch some beef. Right, so we've got some drizzle going on. I've got a float rod set up, 14 foot float rod with four pound line, boy. Quite not. Male tension. And then guys, on a wet 1st of March, Mr. Tench, three maggots sticking out of his mouth. Look at that. Fought well hard, didn't he? Hey, buzzing with this one. Yeah, boy. Right, 
right guys it's stopped raining so i've had one tent so i've been here about three hours now so i'm probably gonna give it another hour i've moved around to the other side um if i didn't catch anything but honestly it's brutal like i'm fishing hard like honestly i'm fishing hard <laughs> but yeah nothing um but you never know i'm gonna go to another little pond on the way back so winter tench happy days Two pipe. Ooh, Mr. Roach. Roach in a car park. Boys. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, it's proper fishing. I struggled. I went out everywhere to get fish. It's a short video, but you know, it's a wild tench. When do you catch a wild tench in winter out of a little weird pond like that? I actually went for the ditch for them, but like I said, I struggled like anything and uh, randomly caught a couple of pike on little lures, but they're tiny little jacks. So yeah, it was one of them. I had a nice roach. But yeah, it's so weird that type of fishing, you know, because you are fishing for one or two bites. It's not a commercial, like as you've seen, I've been catching carp all winter basically out of the little, out of the lake. I could have went there and caught a load of carp, but that's easy, isn't it? That's easy. Proper fishing, guys. Proper fishing. That is fishing. Right? Bing, bang, bosh. Like and subscribe to me, Fighting Fisherman on YouTube, Fighting Fisherman number nine on TikTok, um, on Instagram and TikTok. Bing, bang, bosh.